Okay, so uh, before we get started uh, creating uh, FK and IK in the arm, whoops, uh, I'm just going to do this uh, video here. Um, basically, I'm going to show how I set up controls and moreover uh, create a hierarchy to enable multiple levels of control on a single control shape. So again, I'm going to be using the Comet tools quite extensively. Uh, need to go to www.comet-cartoons.com to get the scripts if you haven't done so already. And uh, hopefully we already have. Anyway, okay, so to set this, uh, for this uh, demonstration, I'm going to create uh, a, a simple joint here. And I'm um, going to create three chains and then enter. And I'm going to delete this last one. I really only did it so that my... Uh, Axis will be lined up. So, anyway, you can select our axis and show the axis, and we can uh, get an idea of where our axis are pointing. And for this demo, you're going to need to have the outliner on over here so that we can see um, what we're doing. This first joint, I'm going to name uh, left. I know it's just a demo, but just to get the habit, left wrist, left wrist joint, and this joint is going to be our elbow. Left elbow. Okay. And so we have those guys. Okay. So what we're going to do, and, um, you know, for the sake of the demo, I'm going to leave the axis on so we kind of see what's going on. And, um, okay, for this demo, make sure we have nothing selected. And I'm going to go into Comet Shapes, and I'm going to create a Orient Shape. And, um, you know, what this really uh, does is uh, we're creating some nice uh, iconic representation, if you will, for the animators to have an idea of what uh, our controls are going to do. So since my elbow is going to bend in uh, this similar fashion, I'm going to use this icon, although I know the elbow only bends in one direction. Uh, I don't, we don't have any tools uh, that are shaped exactly like I'd like, so anyway. Here's, so here's, here's the deal. We create the shape. Now, there's nothing selected when we bring the shape in. Uh, we're going to group the shape twice. So make sure you're selected on the shape over here. And Control G, Control G. And I'm going to open up the, the hierarchy over here so you can see what's going on. So we have our shape, a first group, and a second group. So the shape node selected. I'm going to name this uh, shape left uh, wrist. Control CTRL. Okay. Uh, up a node. Now, just so you know, you can use the up arrows to move up in the group, and I can move back down with the down arrow. So, the second level, I'm going to copy this. Oh, I got an underscore there I don't like. I just want left. So, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here, and this is going to be Control. SDK. Now I'm going to create a set driven key node here that won't make any sense for a while, but basically it's going to be another way we can control this shape through set driven keys. So for now, uh, just bear with me and I, um, it'll make more. I try to explain it, but it'll make more sense a little bit later. So this one is uh, left wrist control offset. I'm going to abbreviate that in off. And what the offset node does is it allows us to move this um, control node around without uh, messing with the transforms over here on the right of the actual shape. So when we're selecting the control node, and if I go and move the control node around, you can see it's going to move in the X, and we've you know got some transforms over here. When we look down into the shape that we're actually using, we're still all zeroed out and everything. So um, that's why we're creating this node. I'm going to undo that because I want this all at zero. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. This is very important to understand that we have three different um, things going on here. We have the wrist, left wrist control, which is actually the shape. And actually, I'm using elbow. So what I'm going to do is modify search and replace and wrist and with elbow. Sorry about that. And in the hierarchy, it'll just switch whatever's right here. I'm going to apply it, and we're fixed. Okay, so this is my elbow control. 
anyway, like I was saying, so important to have these three um, no, that's a two nodes and the actual shape control. So now be careful because if you're displaying shapes here under display shapes, it's going to look like you have a fourth control um, or fourth node. So this is the actual shape in Maya. Uh, long story short, it's kind of confusing. So if you see four here, you might have that selected. So just have that off for now just to make sense for this tutorial. Okay, so we want to select the offset node so we can reposition the location of this without affecting the transforms in the actual shape or control node. So what I want to do is I want this control to take on the properties of this joint, the orientation, the position, everything. So the easiest way to do that is to shift select this joint and parent it. Now we're going to have some numbers over here in the channel box and when we zero these out, I'm going to hit enter, it's going to take the exact uh, position and the orientation of this joint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on the comment joints hierarchy, oh, I think I can show axis. Yeah, okay. So I don't know if you noticed um, the axis just turned on. Uh, let me turn it off. Okay, so the axis that's showing right now is what's on the joint. So if I turn, well, let's see, I'll turn this one off and select this one and show it. Okay, so we have our axis are perfectly lined up uh, and our position, everything. Then on top of that, when I'm on this node, I'm going to open this section up again, the control is still zeroed out. So this is very important. Um, the shape is still zeroed out. The offset uh, is zeroed out now, but we're going to return this to the world coordinates by unparenting right now. So I'm going to go edit unparent. Now it's shift P. I also have a hotkey up in my top. So I unparent this and it's going to go back into the world coordinates over here as we can see in our channel box editor, which is what we want. But it's going to stay it's going to stay lined up to our joint. Okay, so um, this is uh, like I said, it's a little bit easier to explain. But if I select on the shape, we're still zeroed out. Now my control offset is back to the world coordinates, which is exactly the same world coordinates of this joint. Now, yeah, we could have copied and pasted all those over. Uh, this is a much quicker and easier way. So, um, okay, so now with that that done, we want this shape node off the out of the way because this could quite possibly be covered with mesh. So now the easiest way to move the this um, offset position is to make sure you're in the offset node not this node, but the offset node. And we're going to go up here under the components. We're going to select components and then make sure that this question mark is highlighted. And we're going to be able to move, select all these components and we're going to be able to move these. Oops, I've got something selected wrong. Hold on one second. I'm going to pause this just for the sake of time. Okay, my bad. Sorry. You do not want the question mark check selected. The question mark is uh, for moving joint components. So that's why that joint was highlighted there. i do it again. And anyway, I'll turn this off. So uh, component mode and then um, either point components um, selected so we can move these guys. So now what I want to do is uh, move those back in. Now my um, option, if you hold down W and left mouse button, we're in world. We're moving around the world. We want to move with the object. So. Okay, so I can move this whole set off, out of the way from the joint, and then I can rotate it around. Again, holding the, um, double clicking on the rotation, I'm going to do discrete rotate, which is an odd Maya name for snap. I'm going to snap by 15 degrees, and one, two, three, four, five, something like that. So I'm at like 90 degrees, looks good. And uh, I like that, so I'm going to return to my object node. Now, what we've done is we've moved, again, the shape node. We haven't disturbed the axis position. You can see that the axis is still being displayed. If I hide it, um, whoops, if I hide it, it turns off. And so we've moved, we've snapped this shape to the exact position of our elbow joint, and then we've moved the shape node off away from the center so that the animator will have uh, easier time selecting this control uh, and all the same time our our uh, control is sharing the same axis as this joint so when we go and control and move um, 
this when we parent or constrain or whatever the joint to this controller we're going to share the same access point which will make sense a little bit but the important thing to remember is how I'm setting this hierarchy up so uh, with that said um, I'm going to select on the control so now I have the control selected and we're zeroed out here very good to know the SDK is still going to be zeroed out again we're going to go over the set driven key at, um, attributes later and the control offset node is now going to have some values which are in the world space so we've got everything happening that we want I'm going to quickly check the time here and pause the okay so I just wanted to check the time and my notes really quick make sure I'm covering everything I wanted to cover in this session uh, what we can do really quick just to show how this is working is I can select uh, the controller and then shift select the joint and we're going to constrain always remember driver then driven so I'm going to drive the joint with the controller so driver and um, driven is the joint so constrain I'll uh, say orient and now we have a constraint we'll see the blue options over here and if I go to um, obviously rotate the controller my joint is going to move with me um, we could have selected you know orient y and that's what we'd really do for an elbow so we're only constraining it in the y direction here and then basically we would lock off and hide the rest of these uh, but just for the purpose of this tutorial uh, I'm not going to worry about that so okay I'm going to set up one more really quick just to go over this process and you may have to uh, you know you may have to um, practices so important thing to know um, if you've got something selected and you go into the comet tools and we make a shape like a cube it's going to snap it right to where um, the it's going to parent it to whatever you have selected so um, we don't want that because we need our transforms all clean and stuff at the lowest level so I'm going to undo that make sure I don't have anything selected I'm going to go comet um, shapes and uh, I'm just going to make an arrow here and right off the bat, I'm going to control G, control G. So I've got a double group with our arrow control. I'm going to double click on that, and I am going to call this one left wrist um, control. And I'm going to select that. Copy. This is just the easiest way to rename this. Paste. This is my SDK node. And again, I'm going to explain that letter. Paste, control offset node OFF off okay offset node selected I'm gonna shift select the wrist joint I'm gonna parent it I'm gonna zero out my uh, <coughs> transforms over here in the, in the channel box zero and then I'm gonna unparent now again I have a hotkey here or key up here unparent so that sets everything back to the world I'm snapped I'm aligned perfectly with my joint I'm gonna go ahead into comma tools just to double check and make sure and I'm going to say show axis, okay? So I've got the joint selected, that um, controller, and we're sharing the same exact axis. Everything's looking good. I'm going to hide that one, hide that one. Somebody didn't hide. That's okay. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Hide. Anyway, whatever. Um... I don't know let me see what's going on here okay I just need to have the offset node selected because that's the axis that I showed I hide I hid in our control we can show that everything's at the same so okay and then again in the offset node I'm gonna go up into the component editor let's select these guys I'm gonna move them off of my wrist and it's gonna follow straight down that axis and I'm gonna rotate uh, rotate snap these at 90 degrees maybe a little further and you can always scale these two, bigger, larger, whatever you want. Okay, and back into our object mode. And this guy is ready to uh, take on the, um, the constraints of our joint down here. So, again, um, very important that we keep um, the double group node. Um, if you don't understand this concept, review this uh, movie. Uh, definitely send me any emails if you have any questions. But... Uh, uh, I know it doesn't help that I'm not going to explain the SDK, but for now, just make sure that you need an empty node set there uh, for some controls later, which we'll get to when we get to the hand. So, uh, review the session. This should become very familiar with you. Uh, create double parent, 
our group and then uh, we'll talk about it later.